There are several factors to consider for long multi-pitch climbs. Here, we'll try to consolidate our thoughts into a single video. Whether it's your first experience or it's another climb in a long list of successful adventures, don't get overwhelmed with this exhaustive list. It's common to do these things without even being aware that you're already doing them. The first one is preparation. Start at home. Look at websites and guidebooks. Do your research. On a macro level, you have route selection. Make sure route selection is based on your personal abilities, your partner's abilities, psychological factors, experience, retreat options, and weather for that day. Get route beta or advice. Talk to climbers who have climbed the route. Talk to the climbing shop, local guide services, and review major websites or guidebooks. From there, you'll have your meso level or mid-process considerations. Here's an example. When scoping routes in a new area, sometimes the approach is the first hardest part, and that even starts with driving to the crags. Okay, while hiking, clue in on specific features, landmarks you can zero in on. Examples like the giant roof to the right of the route, descent or walk-off options, and looking behind you for landmarks that will be needed during that walk-off. Identify things like if you'll need one or two ropes to repel the route if it's a technical descent. Route planning. Decide ahead of time to walk off or repel. Scope this from afar and multiple times throughout your approach and the climb. Always keep your eye on the big picture, even when you're zeroing in on the micro-navigation. Micro-navigation. Understand the topo drawings of the route things like a ret versus gullies, and other key features to look for. Old versus new guidebooks. Old guidebooks often forego smaller features and instead focus on major features. So you have to develop an eye for what are major features and why a guidebook author would include or not include certain pictures or guidebook depictions on the Tobo map. 